What is up guys, gals, and all others? We're doing a Supendium breakdown today. I'm excited for this one. It's been a while. I haven't watched a Supendium video since the Pizza the Action, which is quite a long time ago. Um, for all my Supendium viewers, or people just coming back in because the algorithm slowly pushing me out more and more. Um, I took a, about a year or two hiatus uh, to work on my business. I overworked myself to the point where it was unhealthy. And now I've taken more time for myself and I'm doing the things I used to do. So that's why I'm back um, until my obsession grows deeper and I fall into that hole again. But let's get back into it. Uh, thank you all for coming by. I do know Supendium goes by they slash or they slash them. If I say he... It's a mistake in my own ignorance. I completely apologize. It's not out of disrespect by any what means. Um, and I just watched Shelter of the Storm, my own breakdown to it, like 40 minutes ago. Because I know they're going to allude to it. That's the stupendium way. I like the logo. Logo check. Mm. For a second now, I'm like, I know this. This is literally just the chorus. I, I thank God I watched the last one. I just, like just now, I would have forgot. I would have not known that. So this is the chorus from the last one. We're alluding to it. I don't know who the hell's vocals that is. Let me click right here. Whose vocals is that? Um, choral vocals by Carlo the Bells of the Bell or Carl of the Bells. If I pronounce it incorrectly, I apologize. And the face keeper is Hala. Ooh. And of course, oxygen on the beats. Oxygen's crazy. It's gonna be. Okay. That line's just so hard. Hey. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So we're we're kind of like piggybacking off the last one right here. I guess it's more of an intro, I, but I just like it. I like uh, Superman's real tough like. It, th while this is an, uh, a fake setting per se, but these like just hit hard off of it. I, I, and I just like it. Of course, I like the storm. Storm came. Storm will come again. Uh, but I really like the. Uh, we burn the very best of us to cast us into the flame. Ugh, that's just just such good writing. Depending on their poetry, oh, shit. Hey. Okay. That's a hard hitting lie. Okay, so I don't know exactly if the I've played Frostpunk one and I've beaten it. I have not played Frostpunk 2 because I believe I saw it was coming out on Game Pass, but I haven't had like the time to actually play it because I've been so busy with work and stuff like that. Uh, so I don't know if it piggies backs off of the original game. I know it doesn't concept, but in the idea of you've completed you've or a storm came, you complete the city and you're going off the past ruler or are you just it's just like a restart like, you know, how Civ is where you just start a new city. Um, so I wonder if it's like that, but I, I really liked how he said through disaster and salvation, but her veins are like the fires. Each building block a tinder box, how fit you transpire. The ending of the ending of an empire reduced to just the pyre. Uh Empire Pyre. Okay. And then I like so this is just like we're continuing off of all the work we've come through and everything we've done, and we're we're just fighting through it. We're still fighting through it which is kind of interesting because we're keeping the same feel. So I wonder if it's going to change in any way because this is like, it's it's just the same concept for now. Okay. Oh, 
oh my god, are we the same person? Are we the same person? I, I couldn't tell, but now I see like the yellow right here. I saw the hat, and I know he had goggles. I'm like, that's just like, that's just the thing. But the yellow and everything, is he the same person? Okay, so he's like, so he's he's telling his story. This is like him giving the intro to himself in the position we're in now. Okay, okay, I understand more. And he's exiled. Okay, so he's out of here. So he's he's reliving. Okay. These vocals are thick. Okay, 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 okay. I'm like, this set is crazy. I am all for production. I love production. And I think Stupendium, out of all of Nerdcore, is like just completely above the others. And that's no disrespect to anyone else. But I believe they are completely above the others when it comes to production. And this is crazy. I don't know if this is like the set in their warehouse or what. And I don't know if this is real snow or they have like a snow machine because I know snow machines are quite a bitch to get. So I think I I had the I was an event manager for something and we had to order one and they're hella crazy to get and expensive as hell. So I can only imagine like if they have multiple or something like that, how crazy this could be to film. And like this is just the setting of it all going into this. It's just so good. Stoops, if you watch this, did you build this? Did you guys build this in y'all's warehouse? Or did y'all like go somewhere and film this? Because this is very interesting. The makeup is so good too. Okay. The presence in the voice here with, of course, it's the layers. It just feels so impactful. We're still with the same concept as before. It's a different it's it's a different story in the same vein but the presence in the voice is just so it it, it it takes up space i don't know how to how to say other than that okay where are we going now this set is so crazy man the books okay Forge a path at any cost A future for our children Built no matter what was lost Yet perfidious a vision Left that mission to attrition Fed it grim of man's ambition Re-arisen from the frost Come my sisters and my brothers Some respect amongst your kin Why for all this air and cluster We're no better than the wind For the ice beneath this tundra Is getting all too thin And life outside of this rotunda Hang on what's declared within Who is the spoils of Britain I like, I like this. I like this. So I like the, uh, a future for our children built no matter what was lost. Okay. Perfidious a vision left that mission to attrition. Fetid crib of man's ambition re-arisen. Re arisen from the frost. So he's saying like all of our ambition. So it was all about survival and doing what we can to survive. But now we're at the point where it's our own greed. We were doing it for survival before for just to survive. But now we're fighting our, amongst ourselves. It is, we are our own ambitions, our own struggles. So I like that. Man's ambition is the only thing that grow out of the frost. I like that. It's just so good. The writing is so good here. Yet perfidious a vision left that mission 
to attrition, fetid crib of man's ambition, re arisen from the frost. Come, my sisters, come, my brothers, some respect amongst your kin. Why, for all this air and cluster, we're no better than the wind. Yeah. Well, the light beneath this tundra is getting all too thin, and life outside of this rotunda, hang on, what's declared within? To which the spoils of pit and toil, the worthiest shall rise. But each on earth has equal worth and see through heaven's eyes. Time on and reason, and watch your teeth is through the warmest day. The path we took is passed through no idea, salvation lies. What the hell is that? Connor and stupid, not stupid, uh, Schwabity? Connor and Schwabity here? Okay. I don't know who that is. I, on a side note, why do I feel I know I don't I'm pretty sure this is Stupendium still, but this sounds like it could be Connor's voice. <laughs> Okay, so I like the so I do so we're playing off the different factions here, which is very interesting in this meeting. And I this sorry, I'm just looking at the set. Okay. I, I like the ideas of this so we have like the religious people being like hey you know it's all god's plan it's all god's plan and then we have the people saying we should build the future and we got to grow past and we have saying we just gotta deal with it you know we just gotta, we gotta, we gotta live in it. This is the shit we were given, and we gotta deal with it. I like it, I like it. I like the different I ideas of it. And Stupendium's done a good job of, like, with saying very little, because there's only a couple lines here, giving that concept out. Like, because it's very... Because while I do know there's different factions and uh, in Frostbunk 2, um, giving the ideas of these factions out with very little lines, it, it's subtle, but powerful. Yeah. Hey. hey oh we're transitioning here we're transitioning here i like that the seeds of negativity have been played so it was all about it was all about working forward progressing as humanity and then now we're, we're starting to question it. We're like, oh, what, what are we doing? And plus, it's very symbolic when they drop the paper in the trash. This set is so fucking crazy. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So, I don't know if it's editing right here, or Stupendium actually has a snowblower. But this, this is just so crazy. I love, I'm a big, see, a lot of uh, music I do breakdowns of, while there are, like, sets and things like that, they aren't as complex uh it's a lot of green string stuff but this like stupidium goes all out with these sets and i i just love the visuals i love looking at it hey Connor's really into that. Oh no. I, 
I like I like this. Okay, so we're going for a little turn. The stuff we built, the houses, the knowledge, all of it we fight to keep. We're, we're like, what is the point? We're throwing it all away right here. We're burning it. I like it. I like it. Okay, so we're 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 twisting it. Cause that's what I was wondering when I first saw this song is how is Stupendium gonna portray this in a different light? Because Stupendium usually doesn't do songs about the same thing. And if they are around the same thing, they'll switch it up. Uh but this we're now we're we're throwing our twist now. The twist is what 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 if what if we you know what if we don't do that? What if we're not surviving? What if this is not the path? You know, what what if it's all for nothing? Oh, that looks so sick. Was given with the lie that each other would deliver us deliverance in time. The dissidents and dissidents have driven us to schism, just like Sisyphus, the myth of us, we never end incline. The filibuster preserves us from temperatures decline. No divisions cut so deep as those down lines where laws assigned. To the militant, the penitent, entrenched to get their fellow men, forgetting that the elements can not how you align. Without the heart, we've got to freeze it, but to chill. The icker pipe to give us light will cease and cold us still. But if we were to summary our great and grand discoveries, then now would be we found the freezing point of human will there's not the time for tears when all that's tears against the wall they streak the face and freeze in place for they have the grace to fall if each a flake unique in shape is beauty framed in squall what leap of faith to dream our place was not beneath them all i like it okay 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 i do like the flip so now we were talking i and to Benham's poetry writing because that's what it feels like at this point uh it's this of course is a song but it feels more like a poetry uh just well of course rap is poetry in a sense but this just feels like straight poetry in the way that they're saying it okay i want to go back because i it's very interesting this is not one of my heavy breakdowns because a lot of things they're saying is something i mean you could just pick up on it the meaning within it and stuff like that it's not like super i mean it's deep and heavy the lyrics are heavy themselves but are they deeply like written within or deeply deeply seated that you really have to think about it no it's very in your face but heavy so i don't have to break down every line you're getting the concept so i'm just only pointing out like a, a few i really like if that makes sense That is so sick right there, though. What the hell? I don't know if this is like 3D printed or what. That is so good looking, man. That looks crazy. Each citizen's resilience was given with the lie that each other would deliver us deliverance in time. Yeah. But dissidents and dissidents have driven us to schism, just like Sisyphus, the myth of us, we never end incline. The no ski? filibuster preserves us from temperatures decline. No divisions cut so deep as those down lines were laws assigned. To the militant, the penitent, entrenched to get their fellow men, forgetting that the elements can not how you align. Without Talk the heart, the blood will start to freeze, but to chill. The icker pipe to give us light will cease and colder still. But if we were to summary our great and grand discoveries then that would be we found the freezing point of human will there's not the time for tears when all that's tears against the wall they streak the face and freeze in place for they have the grace to fall if each a flake unique in shape is beauty framed in squall what leap of faith to dream our place was not beneath them all uh, the no fang but sharp of mandible when chance to stake a claim uh, dude this is so good the, the every snowflakes the different the stake and mandible all that is just so nice beauty framed in squall what leap of faith to dream our place was not what is man but an animal in all but face and name? What is man but an animal in all but face and name? Ugh, it's, it's just so good. The writing is so good. If each flake unique in shape is beauty framed in squall, what leap of faith to dream our place was not beneath them all. For mm. what is man but animal in all but face and name? No fang but sharp of mandible when chance to stake a claim. We rage and fight against the night, but sun still fades the same. So each can evince the right and right, we push for fate in vain. Be hey. strong that they may prosper, the weak may they revive. Loose the gates to save the lost, leave the heat for those inside. Rush the center, the difference. For all its free expression, thrive. You to let it flourish, and that one more creature raise the knife. Let it burn, I say! Oh. Mm, that is so hard for as fools we are feel and it's our nature to combust Ugh. Ugh. i've never heard like anything like that before Ugh. that is so clean and i don't what did he say what did what did they say they say over here i can't remember what it was but they said something so nice so each convinced the right and right we both for fate and fate be the strong that they may prosper 
And then, okay, so we have like the different like challenges you'll be faced, you know, who to allocate your food to. So, okay, okay. I... Talking about, oh, do we do we keep the heat in? Do we try to go out and save our people that are lost? Or do we censor the media? What do we do there? I like it. Oh my goodness. I love that line. Man so blessed engine grinds and churns and screams of lust. Its lust have faded now since autumn eve the god did leave to rust. Mm. Uh, the way the chorus comes in. Oh, Schwab be threatening with the, the wrench? Hey, yo, relax. A thousand types are gone. I care for nothing. All shall go. Thou makest thy type no. So careful of the type, but no. From scarp and cliff and quarried stone, she cries. A thousand types are gone. I care for nothing. All shall go. Thou makest thine appeal to me. I bring to life. I bring to death. The spirit does but mean the breath. I know no more than he shall he Man her last work who seemed so fair Such splendid purpose in his eyes Who rolled the psalm to wintry skies Who built him fanes of fruitless prayer Who trusted God was love indeed And love creation's final law Though nature red in tooth and claw With raven shrieked against his creed Oh, life was futile then as frail Oh, for thy voice to soothe and bless what hope of answer or redress behind the veil? Behind the veil. Okay, so that is a poem. I don't know where it's from. I swear I've heard this line before. What was it again? Because thy types are gone from scab. If nothing, all shall Chuck go. Up. Thou makest thine appeal to me. I bring to life, I bring to, life, bring I bring to death. death. I swear I've heard. So, so what is this? So fair, such splendid purpose in his eyes. Who rolled the psalm to wintry skies? Who built him fanes of fruitless prayer? Who trusted God was love indeed? And love creation's final law. Though nature red in tooth and claw, with raven shrieked against his creed. Oh, life was futile then as frail. Oh, for thy voice to soothe. And bless what hope of answer or redress behind the veil, behind the veil. So this is this this is about like this the same situation is is what I'm gathering. It's the same idea or concept that man or people are against nature in a sense, or they're in, they're in an apocalyptic scenario. Is what I'm getting at. Just reciting it. Burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. Dude, it looks so fucking good. Oh no, rest in peace. Anything else? If you hadn't gathered, it's very cold. I bet. But thankfully, I've been keeping warm by the intense graphical processing power of the new <laughs> Frostpunk 2 Radeon RX 7700 okay. XT GPU by AMD and Sapphire. Yes, that's right. 11-bit studios have partnered with AMD and Sapphire to celebrate the release of Frostpunk 2, the sequel to their best-selling society survival game, with a limited edition Frostpunk 2 graphics card. With its frosty white fan shroud, oil black metal... Okay, 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 okay. Shout out to all the people that came by. Shout out to Supenium for this crazy video. This is one of my favorite sets that I've seen. The detail in it was crazy. The idea, and I do like how we played off a different concept because that's what I was worried about. That was just going to be the same idea again. And we flipped the narrative and just threw it out. I don't know where that poem is from, so let me know. Let me know what other videos you want me to check out by Supenium that I have missed. And thank you all for coming by. Become a Patreon to... 
uh, Supenium. I believe I still am. If not, I'll have to check on it later. Because I know I've had to... I had to make a new Patreon account. But I don't remember if Supenium is one of the ones I, I sub to or not. But if not, I will um, soon. Uh, but thank you all for coming by. And I'll see you guys next time. Drop a sub if you're new here. Peace.